Brands from all kinds of industries have been doing what we call in the watch world reissues, or vintage inspired for decades. Is it clever manufacturing or marketing? Or is it just laziness or lack of imagination? Regardless of your opinion, there is one watch brand that has led the pack for some time now, and that's Longjing's, and in particular their not so creative namesake, the Heritage Line. While long jeans have been producing reissues for some time, the now recently discontinued Heritage 1967 Diver Chronograph seems a little like the forgotten child. Released back in 2015, the Heritage Diver is a faithful remake of the original 60s skin diver with, you guessed it, the same name. The modern polished stainless steel case measures in at 42mm combined with a lug to lug of 48.9mm, a thickness of 16.1mm including the box crystal, we'll get to that shortly and a lug width of 22mm certainly makes for a reasonably big and chunky experience on wrist. While the lugs angle down quite sharply, there's no hiding from that 16mm thickness. However, my biggest gripe is the bracelet adjustment. While beautifully executed with solid end links, a fold over clasp and diver's extension on my wrist with all links removed and the smallest micro adjustment set, the watch is still a little loose, which in turn makes the thickness more of an issue as it can wobble around a bit. I'm yet to find the right strap combo and love the look of the bracelet, so for now I'm stuck with a slightly loose fitting watch. Contributing to the heft is the Long Jeans Edda developed column wheel chronograph automatic movement, the L688.2. With 54 hours power reserve and an unlisted accuracy, i.e. I couldn't find it on the internet, but on my time grapher showed a very respectable plus 3 seconds a day on several occasions. Engaging the chrono pushes is very nice indeed. They are super quick, crisp, and even the softest push starts the timing function. The Sign screw down crown has a smooth winding feel, but on occasions is difficult to screw back in with the weird spring mechanism. Date setting is much simpler than my last review, by the way, go back and watch it, it was the Breitling Navi Timer, with a built in selector on the side of the case at the 10 o'clock position and can be changed with the supplied tool. The watch is also 300 meters water resistant, you'd hope so with Diver in its name, which is unusual given the chronograph function, and I applaud Long Jeans for really making the effort here. On the reverse we have the now famous Skin Diver engraving which I do enjoy, however I really think a see through case back here would have been amazing with the movement and would have been a whole lot better. The flat coin edge bezel is very crisp in action, with the main attraction being that gorgeous dark red, or as long jeans call it, a Bordeaux or aluminium insert. Combined with a 60 minute diver countdown and a 12 hour GMT, it's certainly a very functional bezel. Grip is reasonable, however I doubt it would be easy to use underwater, but man that red is just stunning. The sapphire crystal has anti-reflective on the front side and also has a raised box edge that highlights that cool vintage vibe. Which looks fantastic, but again it just adds to the overall case height. Moving on to the beautiful textured black matte dial, it absorbs light extremely well and allows very easy reading of the odd but unique asymmetric or lazy eye subdials. Running with a 369 layout, we have running seconds, the big eye being a 30 minute timer with some really interesting markers here at 3, 5, 6 and 9 intervals which from my reading, I believe is to be decompression times, correct me if I'm wrong below. And the black dial at the 6 o'clock position, a 12 hour elapsed timer, which is actually a new addition compared to the original, which was only a twin register setup. The black really hides the dial well here and keeps the original theme. Well played long jeans. The outer tachymeter scale, while true to the original, doesn't really make much sense to me, but at least it is colour matched with the subdials in the off-white cream colour. The large rhodium plated stick hands with super luminova match the case really well, however can be lost in direct sunlight at times against the black dial. The slightly raised batten markers are easy to read and I can report the loom is very good here. The subtle and intricate additions like the red crosshairs in the centre of the dial and the bottom subdial are wonderful little vintage knobs that only a real watch enthusiast can appreciate. I feel the date function could have been left out here and really not necessary but at least it does blend in with the black dial. The Heritage 1967 chronograph is certainly a funky and eye-catching watch. While the thickness and heft could be off-putting for some, it makes up for it in character and dare I say it, vintage flair. 
It's an unusual piece, but I've found a lot of people at meetups, for example, appreciate its uniqueness and chunky good looks. Personally, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes it wears well and comfortable, and then other times it's just big, awkward and just gets in the way. While not perfect, it's hard to argue Longjean's commitment and effort to making iconic, affordable and well-styled reissues. Perhaps the king after all.